Say all right to first and foremost, when I give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Rekha Kodash. We say that my son, Pastor, and Elders agree most, and I rule well, our teachers, our personal truth, and we say salutations for the Akimah, so they push you with our truth and sincerity, day in and day out, and constantly in season and season, we say shalom. And once again, going into our video here, and this basically touching upon this video upon the screen. Now, before I play the clip, right, you know, just like many other clips that you see women sit on, you know, they be in these podcasts, they be in these radio shows, they be in these talk shows, and there are, there are plenty of clips outside there, you know, and plenty of clips that we have already touched upon and do dead videos upon. But one particular thing that every single video have is that a woman is telling a man how to be a man, and they would never tell herself how to be a woman, right? And basically, that wouldn't make sense, because how could a woman tell a man how to be? How could a woman tell a man how to be? And usually, when she usually the things that she would be saying is things that would make no sense. You understand? It's things that would make no sense. You know, you would sit down and watch these, like these little, little clippings and so forth, and you will get to understand the kind of bullshit that has been going through women's mind. Yeah, they, some sometimes it, like for example, in this in this clip here, she did say one or things, one or two things, okay. Right? But some of the stuff she said off. Right? She said off. But when I watch majority of these clips with these other women, with, sorry, with these other women, right? With these other women, um, they're trying to tell a man how to be and they don't even know how to be a woman. For, for a man. Right? And especially a woman for a righteous man. Now, before I continue, let me bring forward the scripture here. Right? Before I play the clip, this, let me go to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 31. And I'll go read verse. Um, let me read. Let me read verse um Let me read verse ten, right? Um this is the Proverbs chapter two the one I'm gonna read verse um verse ten. It says who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. And that is just to show you how how <laughs> how hard it is to find a virtuous woman. Because like you would see these clips, right? You would see these clips on how a woman We'll be talking about a man and how a man's supposed to be and a, and a man's supposed to be this and that and so forth and this and all kind of bullshit that they would be regurgitating because they will be they will be regurgitating other stuff that they, that they heard from other women doing the same thing right but you would never hear that he you would never sit down to hear them say how a woman's supposed to be towards a man you know how a woman's supposed to be so that is just to show you what the scripture say it say who can find a virtuous woman? No, let's let me just do a quick Google search. Right? It's a virtuous, it's a having or showing high moral standards. Having or showing high moral standards, right? Um it's a virtue. Um it's a morally right. Morally right. Right? So going back to the scripture, it's a who can find a virtuous woman? A woman that 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 is morally right. Right? Or or as I say, a having or showing high moral standards, and that would be according to how a woman's supposed to be. According to the scriptures. These women outside here they be showing the body, you know. They be showing the body freely. Freely. Right? They be talking out of order and all these things. So that is just to show you how precious it is that that um as I say here, for her price is far above rubies. That is how important it is that that hey, that is that is that is to show you a virtuous woman worth then. You know that that her price is is far above rubies. Right? And we know literally the woman that, that we're supposed to be going behind is, is wisdom. <laughs> right? That is who we're supposed to be going behind. Right? So let me go into the clip here. I'm in speaking to a man and a man watching.
listen. Shut up and listen, y'all brothers, all right? Uh, you, you, you hear what you see, right? There's, there's a man telling men, telling a man to hush up and listen. You know what? Let's go. What can we do better for y'all? I'm curious about that. I love that. I think a couple things. One is, like the Bible says, love us by knowledge of us. Okay. Not by past experience of them. Oh, One. yes, ma'am. And how do you gain knowledge? We need your vulnerability. We need you. No, you gain knowledge through the scriptures. You know, Sanka, the way how you're supposed to you're dealing with a woman, yeah, we, we your knowledge of how you're supposed to deal with you and so forth. But here what she say, you gain knowledge through vulnerability. That that where that is in the scriptures. Because she now quoted that verse, right? That she talk about the husband supposed to deal with um the, the, the wife with knowledge, right? Let's go back to it. Go back to it. Listen, shut up and listen, y'all brothers, all right? Uh what can we do better for y'all? I'm curious about that. I love that. I think a couple things. One is, like the Bible says, love us by knowledge of us. Okay. Not by past experience of them. Oh. All right. So she said knowledge of us, right? And, you know, you can go and do a Google search of that. Um, um, right, um. And the scripture that she was talking about, right, is the first Peter, right, first Peter, which is first Peter chapter three, verse seven. So let's read it. It says, likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, dwell with them according to knowledge that he is supposed to deal with a woman, right? But you see, you see, as a man, when he said to deal with them, because plenty of these men outside there, they be feminine. Right, they 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 feminine. They they actually want to deal with the woman like how a woman would deal with, <laughs> deal, you know, and that cause the rift, that cause all this sort of stuff. So you say giving honor unto the wife as unto the unto the weaker vessel, because that was what you all are. The reason why they do the, them according to knowledge, right? Because you the woman is the weaker vessel, right? I say giving honor unto the wife, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. As being heirs together, the grace of the grace of life that your prayers be not hindered. Right, so continuing. Um, you notice she quoted the scripture, right? Now she quoted a piece of it and she didn't finish. She didn't finish. Now, let me just get a particular scripture. Deprive. This is the book of Job chapter 39. Right, um, Job chapter 39. Let me go to 17, right? Um, yeah, 17. Let's see here. It's here, because God had deprived her of wisdom, neither had neither had he imparted to her understanding. Right? Because God had deprived her of wisdom, neither had he imparted to her understanding. Right? Now let's go back. Now let's go back to the to the first Peter. Right, chapter three. First Peter chapter three. So, as I say, likewise the husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. And now she didn't mention that part. Why didn't she mention that part? Because now she would be cutting into women being the weaker vessel, and usually they don't want to show that. Now, she, she, as she said, to deal with knowledge, knowledge come by vulnerability. Let's be One, yes, and how do you gain knowledge? We need your vulnerability. So that, how you gain knowledge? You need a vulnerability. No, that's not where you get knowledge at all. Right? At all, at all. <laughs> that is just something she just tried to make. Now, she, as I said before, she did say certain things further down a little okay, but going, going straight off when she mentioned the scripture. Right? She didn't even finish the scripture. Because now finishing the scripture would do what? It would, it would basically cut what it is she trying to say. So it's here as unto the weaker vessel. So how could a man come to deal with a weaker vessel, right? With a weaker thing, with vulnerability. When you're vulnerable, it means you're weak. You yourself weak. So you come in to deal with the weaker vessel being weak. 
And that is what has caused the contention and has caused the woman to come and overpower the man. Because that, when, 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 let's go and look up the characteristics of a man. And the word vulnerability would not be there. You will see strength, you will see resilience, you will see all these things. But you wouldn't see weakness because a man is supposed to be strong. Because he is the head. He is the head of a woman. Right? He's the head of the household. Yes, so she quoted the scripture and she tried to think and so forth. And if this man didn't know the scripture, he would have, you know, put her in a place. Because finish, say, as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Right? So let's go back up. Now let's go back up because she quoted the scripture. So let's go back up a little bit. Right? Let's read from verse... Um, So let's read, this is 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. Right? It says, Likewise, ye, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands. Right? So let's look at the word subjection. Um, subjection, right? And this is something you all women don't love to do at all. It says subjection. It says the action of subjecting a country or person to one's control. To one's control. Now, why why didn't she quote the rest of scriptures from that from um from that chapter? Why? Why she would need why she would need to go to the part with knowledge and she she butchered it? You know, she said to gain knowledge, you have to be vulnerable. <laughs> that is that's crazy. That's crazy. How a man gain knowledge is by this word. And when this man had the, the laws, he started using commandments, you know, once he had once he had this knowledge. He would know how to deal with a woman. Right? He would know how to deal with a woman. You know, you're not coming to simp. You're not coming to do... Yeah, we know you're supposed to treat your, your wife good. We, we're we not denying that. We are not. But how these, women want to, how, how these women want a man to be, they want the man to be in subjection to them. So let's continue playing. We need you not to be afraid of coming off as insecure or coming off as thirsty mm -hmm. we need you thirsty mm -hmm. we need you vulnerable mm -hmm. and if that means that you're in your insecure space come with that because a woman who is really in her space of being a wife or a woman who can really support you and facilitate you she is going to nurture that she is not going to emasculate or take advantage or exploit that so ask to add something to that. usually when it comes to usually when a man come that particular way you know, a woman might lie down on, on your chest. You know, she that is, she, um, the scripture comes to mind, she that is um, thy enemy. Um, right? And, you know, she lie down, she lie down on your chest, and you're telling she certain things you may go into. And, and now they just want to call it the ick. You know, you can go and look up that, they just want to call it the ick. She get the ick, meaning that something you say or something you do, that she, she thought she get the ick, meaning that, you know, it, it turns you off. And all of a sudden, she might think you're weak and so forth. No, don't ever show this woman that you're vulnerable. Because they would use that at any particular time against you. And yeah, countless of men have, have said that continually, right? Yes. Baby, what does this look like for you? What do you need in this moment? You seem frustrated. These are the things that I want to do. Will that work for you? You understand? So... So you see, see going on here now. She want you. She want the man to be in subjection, asking you how you thinking, asking you how you doing this and so forth. You know, it's like it's like it's like this. A man working whole day, right? Working whole day, going through all this stuff, work, stress, the road, you know, people, and then he coming home to deal with a demon, right? You come, you know, you, you, all of this said, you know, a time, you know, a time, and so no, she did say, she did say that. To deal with a woman, but as as it say, <laughs> you know how to say a righteous woman that wouldn't do the things that would do the things she trying to say, you know. Yeah, do anything she trying to say. <laughs> that what that, that is why I bring on the proverbs first. A virtuous woman, much much more precious than rubies. You know, more, you know, how precious it is. You know how rare that is in matter of fact. Hmm. 
Okay, well, what works for you? Let me see if it's within my bandwidth, because whatever's within my capacity, I'm going to give you. Yeah. Right? One. Two. Four play us. Mm-hmm. Four plays not in the bed, fellas. By the time you touch our body, we are having sex. That is called sexual engagement. Four play is, how's your day going? Mm-hmm. Four play is, when we're leaving dinner, so um, are you free tomorrow? Get on it. Mm-hmm. You let me go home without selling another date? Wow. Four play is, did you make it home? Wow. Four play is, can see you today, because you said we couldn't see each other tomorrow because you was flying out. You won't be back until, say, three, four days. Um, here, goes some, here goes 50 bucks, 30 bucks. I don't care the amount. It's not the amount. It's the principal. Here goes this cash up, Zell, whatever y'all do for, for breakfast. I see you're traveling. Um, do you got transportation from the airport to your room? Mm. Are you good? Okay. No, you notice, as I was saying, all these things she mentioned here, and she have yet to mention the woman asking the man anything. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So you see, you see the level that they want man to be, right? And how they want, how they want men to be. Now this was just a random clip, and what, what really made me want to do the video is when she quoted the scripture, right? So it say, likewise, you wise being subjection, and we know read, subjection is to obey, right? To obey or sub, sorry, or submit. Are these women doing that? She now mentioned things where. Asking a woman that's doing this thing, thing. She want that man to submit to him. To, sorry, to her. That's him. But she quoted the scripture. Why didn't she quote the rest? Right? So you say, likewise, ye, likewise, you wives, be in subjection to your own husbands. That if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. Right? You say, while they, while they behold your child's conversation coupled with fear, whose adorning let it not be the outward adorning of the plate and of plate in the hair and wearing of gold or of putting on of apparel. Right? They say, but let it be the hidden man of the heart and that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is which is in the sight of God of great price. <laughs> they say, but let it be the hidden man of the heart and that which is not corruptible. They say, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. Which is in the sight of God, which is the sight of God of great price. Now, I just want to say something about that, right? You say a meek and quiet spirit, right? And name one woman today like that. I just saying something off of the line, right? But what these women, all these women do is just, it's like, as I say, as um, the Woody Book of Surak say, rather dwell with a, with a dragon on a land than to, than to live in a house with a, with a wicked woman. Right? That's what you're paraphrasing. That's just a show. He rather he rather tangle with the with them with them wild beasts than to deal with a woman. Hmm. It say verse four. It say sorry, verse five. It say, For after this manner, in the old time the holy woman also now this this is a very important part here because she 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 loved the verse seven and she still quoted off, right? But this part here is a very important part. You see, for after this manner in the old time, the holy woman also who trusted in God adorned themselves because she talked about the God and you know that's so good for, for these for these women who watch in the God and it written in the scriptures that a man thing, you know? Yeah, well, look at it written here. Holy woman also who trusted in God adorned themselves being in subjection unto their own husbands. Why didn't quote that part? Why didn't you mention that part? You understand? Why didn't you mention that? They say adorn themselves being in subjection, right? Being in subjection unto their own husbands. These you feel these women, these women outside they have five to six different men. One for here, one for car, they, and they just boast about it. You know, they just boast about it. One for car, one for nails, one for food, this, 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 that, 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 and etc. and beyond. Why didn't she quote this scripture? A holy woman. Because the, some of these women believe they're holy, and they are not. Right? And they are not. So you say, I don't answer being in subjection to their own husband. And we know really what subject means. means to obey. Do you all obey all husbands? Because you know, say things, how a, how a man supposed to ask this woman, this, 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 that. And he ain't mentioned about a woman, how a woman supposed to be to a man yet. 
So that's lit. When you get there, do you mind letting me know where you're staying in your room number? Uh -huh. I just want to make sure you're safe. Now, for, now for a fatherless girl, that's gonna be she gonna say he crazy. Yeah. But for a woman, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, yeah. who ain't perfect but don't have daddy issues, right. she gonna say, oh shit. I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> room. So let's go to self. Hold on, and then, and then when I tell you the hotel in the room. Send some flowers. Send some flowers. Send a book. My favorite wine is Riesling. Send me a bottle. The waiters, you do your pretty man and all that time. You see, it sounds good, but it literally becomes bullshit. But you see, what these women want is simps. The was simps. You understand? And and being a man and the Lord, this bullshit, you wouldn't stand for it. You know, because you could see, you could, you, yeah, 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 in the scripture, so you don't see him beyond it. You know? You see him beyond the, 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 you see a beautiful face. Um, as 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 you might say, um, pretty face and bad character. That is what it is. That is what men is be dealing with outside here. That's pretty faces, but bad character, right? <laughs> Who knows knows? A big tune, you know. <laughs> uh, Riesling, my love, mm. and then put in there just thinking about you. Mm. That's foreplay. If you know she has a business event or she's in school doing a paper, there's so many different things women are doing nowadays. She does makeup. I don't care what she does. She works at the bank. She has a conference to go to. It's okay to say. You understand how they want a man to be? They want a man to run out any run out your wits. You understand? You run out your wits. That's for them. Who she ain't doing nothing in return. So let's continue in the script. Let's say verse six. Now this is a very important part as well. It's a even, uh, all these scriptures are important, matter of fact, but let's put it into, you know, they're saying, because she leave out certain things, huh? right? They say, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. Which one of all would call all the men Lord today? None. None. You understand? None. Right? They say, because all the disobedient, all the in subjection, all they don't obey. Or they just like to back talk and sabak and so forth and so on and, and you know. So it's a so it's a even as Sarah obeyed it. And that was Sarah do. So we go and verse 5 say what the holy woman. So Sarah did what? Sarah obeyed Abraham. Right? <laughs> Calling him Lord. Or you or, 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 or ready to call her my Lord? <laughs> hey. It say whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well and are not afraid with with any amazement and that is the thing you all going and call all your husbands lord like what sarah do you all that's craziness to all it so now that's what i say she mentioned the, the verse seven and and we know how a man would do a man would deal with a woman according to knowledge it's according to this word but she she even leave out a little piece in the verse seven that they are the weaker vessels right but again, that is what you would get. Again, it sounds good when, when somebody who not in the, in the scriptures, you know, do what the spirit of the Lord, these things will sound good to them. To the foolish, it will sound good. To the saints, it will sound good. Because even in, even in some of the comments, right, some of the comments, some men bring some good points. You know, I'd be happy to do this and more, but I don't want to look stupid after. Because major, it, it have, yo, it have so much of situations and, and are talking from, Seeing some people that I know, men, you know, they try to do that with women, and in the later run, they will, they get fucked up, right? You know, it say um, this person mark unmarried folks got all the dating advice, fellas. The advice is only if she feeling you. You know, this next person mark forty plus single and no kids. I'm good on her advice. Most of you guys are just be simping behind her. Right, but as I said, you know, um, she maybe has some points, maybe, right? But that part where she quoted the scripture, why didn't she finish it? Why didn't she? Why didn't she? Um, why didn't she quote further up? Why didn't she mention that a woman is supposed to be in subjection and so forth? And the reason why all the outer order is because only not in subjection to all her husband. You understand? Just loud mouth outer order and so forth. You know. Quote a script and she even finish it, yeah, you know. But again, that is where you get, you know. It's 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 not about bringing any money. It's not about the truth, right? So hey, with that we give all praises and glory to 
Yahweh, by Hashem, you shall by Hashem, you We see that when a person and elders agree with us, and a reward that teaches a person the truth, and we see salutations, holy acumen, to the pushing of truth and sincerity, day in and day out, and constantly in season and season, we say, Shalom.